Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? Welcome back to another Tuesday Virtual Desktop versus Oculus Link, also known as Link versus VD. Let's go! Welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of VR. My name is Lazio SK and welcome back to another weekly episode of our Tuesday comparing the virtual desktop with Oculus Link. So why do we need Oculus Link if virtual desktop can enable you to stream any of your VR experiences completely wirelessly to your Oculus Quest? That's a very good question and that's why we do these weekly shows so we can compare the two technologies. And by the way, there is Shadow that you can use which enables you to stream virtual desktop directly through the cloud so you don't actually need a PC VR ready machine, but because we don't have a subscription to it, I'm sorry, I cannot say whether it's good or not. All right, so first let's start off with the different settings that I used for this test. There was two tests, one by the router and one in my studio, which was about 10 meters away with the door closed and a wall in between. So as you can notice on the right hand side, I've actually got less bit rates and also a slower frame rate when I'm inside the studio compared to when I'm about two meters away from the router and there's no wall in between. It's a much higher bit rate and also a higher frame rate at 32 frames per second. For well, today's show, we're going to be using an app called Lost Circus VR, which by the way, will only be out on the 24th of April. So thanks very much to Virtual Magic for reaching out to us to allow us to use your app for today's comparison. Now the devs, when I spoke to them through the Discord, they do recommend they use the Games tab in Virtual Desktop for games to load properly and there's no stutter. However, as you can tell, when I used that Games tab, the game simply did not want to launch. And also when I used Half Alex, it actually crashed two times before it would work. So I actually have to use the Launch Steam VR tab in order to launch both this game and also to ensure that Half Alex works properly. When the Oculus Quest is away from the router, about 10 meters away with the door closed and a wall in between, there are definitely some issues. When the game starts, there's some stutters going on and then also when I'm panning my head left to right or rotating my body, I can see the shutters, the black shutters around which are appearing. There are also my gun which transforms into a hammer when the scene is loading. Definitely some issues there, it's definitely not smooth at all. Now we're using version 1.12.1 by the way, so for the purpose of the comparison with the Oculus Link and to give it a fair play, I'll be standing right next to the router about 2 meters away with no walls and no doors in between. Time to play our weekly game where you get to guess which one is Oculus Link and which one is Virtual Desktop. On the left hand side you'll see the letter A and then on the right hand side there'll be the letter B. Now try to see the differences in color, in special effects, in shadows, in jaggedness and stuttering and all those kind of things. Just before I do the grand reveal, which one is Oculus Link and which one is Virtual Desktop, I just want to give a very quick shout out to all those who went to watch and comment on one of the previous videos, which was all about the unboxing of Cyber Shoes. You guys are awesome. Remember to leave a comment below so that I can give you a shout out in the next video. Time for the reveal. Okay, if you thought that Oculus Link was B, you would have got it. Right, because it is Oculus Link, well done to you, I give you a thousand points. Now of course when you're trying to tell the difference on a screen, especially on a phone or on an iPad, it can be hard to tell the differences. But when you actually have the headset on, undoubtedly there are some differences. 
But I have to admit that virtual desktop is getting closer and closer and closer to the quality of an Oculus Link. But the difference is more or less because, of course, all the information that comes from the machine has to be transcoded wirelessly back into the headset. So there is some giveaway there at some times. All right, thank you for watching. I hope that this video was helpful to you. Remember to like and subscribe. Share some love so that you and I, together we can grow the community and help as many people as possible in VR because ultimately that is what it's all about. All right, until next time, take it easy. And as always, as always, DJ, take it away.